Hi kids, I'm Shanis from Swirl Music and in this video we are going to learn about music clefs and the names of the notes. So we learned in the earlier video that the names of the notes are the first seven letters of the English alphabet and that these notes are written on staff lines based on their pitches. But how will we know which note is named after which letter? To help us with that, we have something called a clef. A clef is a symbol in music used to give the names of the notes on the staff lines. It is placed at the beginning of the staff lines. Let's begin with the treble clef. The center of this clef wraps itself around the line which represents the G above middle C. Hence, it is also called the G clef. Today, the treble clef is looped around the second line. So any note placed on this line with a treble clef at the start of the staff will be named G. So if the note placed on the second line is G, then the space below it will be F. The first line will be E. If we step below that, we will have D. Moving upwards from G, we will have A, B, C, D, E, and F. On a keyboard, this clef is used to play the higher notes. You could remember these names by splitting them into spaces and lines. To remember the names of the notes on the lines, you can use the phrase every good bird does fly and the spaces spell the word face f-a-c-e the next clef that we are going to learn about is the bass clef this clef is used for the lower notes on the keyboard we also call this clef the f clef because the two dots are placed on either side of the line that represents the F note below middle C. Since the two dots are placed on either side of the fourth line, any note placed on this line with the bass clef at the beginning of the staff will be an F. So if the fourth line is F, the space above it will be G and above that will be A. Moving downwards, the space below F will be E, the line below that D, the next space C, then B, A and G. To help you remember these names, just like the treble clef, we split it into lines and spaces. To remember the notes of the lines, you can use the phrase good boys deal for aces and the spaces all cows eat grass. There are a few notes or pitches that may be too high or too low to fit on a staff line. In such cases, the notes may go above the staff line and below the staff line with imaginary lines. These added lines drawn are called ledger lines. With a little practice, you will be able to remember all these names. Hope you enjoyed the video.